Hi, this is Alan Weaver. I'm doing an overview on Windows file management. Very important to know this. I'm working with Windows XP. The tips that I'm showing you are applicable to any version of Windows, even going back to an older one such as 2000, even Windows 95. However, uh, let's talk with the present here. When you're in my computer, I went into my documents, as you can see here. You get this little pat task pane here, where I can click here to make a new folder. If I click on something here, I can rename it and stuff like that. However, I want to show you some really nice shortcuts in doing this. If you're good with the mouse and you're able to right-click, this is the way to go. And when we're looking at this window here, this is shown file names, size, type, date modified. Now, what I want to do here, if I click inside here, I can change the different views here. I can go into thumbnails, where it gives me a big thing here. If I double click on this folder here, which holds files, it shows two files in here. If I click inside here, I could go to film strip, where it gives me a little film strip, or I could click on thumbnails. Great way if you're working with photos. And similar to the internet, I'm just going to hit the back button. Okay, and sometimes you get an icon in some of these uh, for a symbol here. You also get this logo here. This is a Word document. It also ends with .doc. This is an Excel document. It ends with .xls. What we want to do, I want to talk about setting things up so you can be organized. What I want to do is I want folders. I just don't want a pile of papers sitting on my desktop, literally, um, and we're going to go into a little thing here. We're going to stay organized where you're going to create folders to hold your information. And to do this is very easy. As I said, you can go over here and do this here. That's user friendly. But let's do this in a quick way. I'm going to right click inside here. I left click on new. And then I go to folder. It says new folder. It's highlighted in blue, just like in using a Word document when you highlight something here. So the first folder I want to create is called financial. Hit the enter key. Then I right click in the white again. I left click on new folder again. Next folder is for my computer information. Okay. And then I'm going to right click here. New folder. And let's say we have correspondence. Okay. And then what I like to do, uh, as I like to be organized, you might want to have a general or a miscellaneous folder to hold information where you don't know where you quite want to put it. I right click, new folder, and let's call it. And as you can see, we have four folders here, one over there. Now, what we want to do now, I want to put these into um, the correct folder. We have a checkbook file here. I could click on this, and you hold the mouse and drag. You've got to be very careful when I tell you to do some things here. Uh, I just click, I drag. See how that folder becomes blue? Release it. Things get moved around here. And I want to go and say the cost of smoking drag that into there and then I want to drag let's say these four files here you could drag them all separately but I'm going to show you a little trick you click on the first file now when you do this you have to hold down the control key and don't fiddle with the mouse you could have a problem you could end up duplicating files I hold down the control key click here 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 take my finger off the control key now I click and just drag in one of these over to the financial folder. Release. They're all in there. Now I want to put some stuff into the computer folder. And uh, I could do click on here. I hold down the control key again. This here. Hold down the control key. Hold, just keep it holding down. Don't release it. Otherwise, you have a problema. And then we have these five files highlighted. I click and drag on top of the computer. It's done. Now I have, let's say, EverRipe. That goes into correspondence. 
And then Lizzie Borden. I don't know really where to put it. So I'm going to put this in miscellaneous. So I've got everything neatly arranged. And if I want to see what's inside one of these folders, all I have to do is double click. And then it's showing me the default on my computer with the name, date, size, and type. You can make these columns wider, narrow. You just put your mouse inside there. The other thing too, which is nice, if you want to find the most recent file, I just click inside date modified. Puts the oldest at the top. I click in here again. It rearranges it. I can arrange by size, by type, or by name. And if I click on name again, it puts it in descending order. So that's the end of this really quick Windows overview. Good luck to you.